Angel, can you tell us about the first time you killed someone? The first time? Let's see. The first time I killed someone, I was about 13 and a half, I guess. I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. Do you believe in God? As I'm robbing the store, a man walked in. He said, there are better ways to make better money. Then he offered me a ride. When I got in the car, he asked me to do a job for him. I didn't really know what to say. But hey, I was tired, broke, and hungry. I made a grand that night and never went hungry again. I really didn't know much back then. How to think, how to end someone's life, who I had never met. I guess if I did, I probably would have asked for more money that first time, you know? I've been molested since the age of six. I went through nine different schools by the time I was 11. I've seen things no kid should ever see. I've done things no teenager should ever do. But I've overcame the extreme poverty and adversity of my youth. It's made me mentally tougher. It's taught me how to survive. Taught me how to kill. How many people have you killed? I lost count after 40. You've lost count after 40? That's a big number. Doesn't it have any kind of effect on you? No, not at all. I mean, I still remember some of the faces, but most are just a blur. Can you tell us a bit about your mother? My mother? Hey! Hey! I can't say anything bad about my mother. Go away from me! I can't say she didn't love me. Where the fuck are you going? Because huh? I know she me. did. It's not like she didn't believe me when I told her about the stuff that was going on. It's just that. Uh, Listen to me. Let's just say that she had her own problems at that time. I mean, we all got problems, right? What's not to understand about that? In fact, her problems were my problems too. You know? Where is she now, your mother? My mother died when I was 11. I was kind of glad. Well, not glad, but happy for her because she would no longer have to deal with that type of life anymore. She died on a Monday night. I still remember it like it were yesterday. They said it was caused by a massive heart attack. 
brought on by smoking crack cocaine. You see, my dad used to sell it back then. But I don't really want to talk about him. Him and his friends will come over. And they'll molest us. My little brother and I. <sighs> and they'll make my mother do the most disgusting things. Think that if I were to tell you, you'll have nightmares. It was like normal shit to them. Like nothing. I can still remember the crack smoke in the air. Where's your little brother now? I'll get to that part soon enough. Did you feel like your mother let you down? Excuse me? Well, you say she loved you, but she knew what was going on. And yet she didn't do anything to stop them from molesting you or your brother. She did love me. How can you say that? When my mother passed away, she told me something that changed the way that I thought about life. What did she say? by the ones we love from the moment we're born. Controlled and manipulated from our God-given rights of freedom. The only way to keep your freedom immediately is to be an execution of your puppet master. So kill them all and let freedom reign. Mom? Mom! I still remember those words. The next day she died. When my mother died, I was thrown out there to the wolves. My father would come and go weeks at a time. I would have to go out and steal food for my brother and I to be able to eat. One day I came home and my brother was gone. My father never came back home after that. I then hit the streets, moving around and stuff. So that's how it started. Did you ever see your father again? I didn't really want to talk about him. But I did see him. I was about 16, working for the same guy, on one contract. As I stepped out of the building, he approached me in an alleyway. I knew right away who he was. He looked me dead in the eyes. He couldn't see through his addiction. He kept begging for money. He couldn't tell that it was me, his daughter. He kept pleading for money, pleading for help. And did you help him? Yeah. I did. Hey. 
just want some money. Please, can you help me? You, you gotta have something you can give me. Okay, please? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa wait, wait, please. Please, though. I, I just need help. Just a little. How did that make you feel? I don't feel anything. Anything? Nothing. This is the man responsible for the nightmare that was your childhood. The man who killed your mother. The reason why your brother's lost. And you don't feel anything? For my mother, yes. But he got to suffer like she did. And is dead like she is. You see, now, my brother was a different story. I actually found out what happened to my brother. Social services took him into a very good family. He got to live a very good life. Well, that's good news. It was. What do you mean, was? Before I get to that, I have a question for you. Why did you want to interview me? Well, we wanted to learn the truth about you. We wanted to tell your story. When you called us, we were thinking, wow, this is unbelievable. When I started this interview, I, I really just wanted to meet this legendary woman who's on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. But in all fairness, I think you're more than just a hitman. I mean, I mean woman. You have a reason for what, the things you do. And I think we understand now. In order for you to understand why a girl like me chooses her contracts, you would also need to understand that I don't give interviews. I don't talk much to anyone. If you see me, it's the last thing you'll be seeing. So why did you agree to our interview? I had been searching to identify the right crew that I was looking for. Looking for? Yeah. The right news crew. I don't follow. You will. Once I tell you about my little brother. You see, a year ago, my brother was walking and was hit by a van, a news van. The news van was speeding. It was racing to cover a story, but it never stopped. Someone else stopped and called the cops. And an hour later, the same news crew came by to cover the story of the hit and run. That was your news van. Now, wait, wait a minute. We didn't know we hit anybody that night. It, it was dark. We told it to the police. They cleared us of all charges and any wrongdoing. I know. I saw the police report. I was driving. I didn't see him. I am, we are sorry for what happened to that. I'm sure you are. But you see, my brother was going places. He was gonna make it in life. But you all took that away from him just to make the 11 o'clock news. You still can. It's not like he died that night. He could still go on to do great things. He can't anymore. You guys never even visited him in the hospital, did you? Not one little visit. Not even a card. We were. We were all going to. Save it! My brother was paralyzed from waist down. Look, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. We can't take back what happened that night. If I could, I would take it all back. But it's not the end of the world for him. He can still get to where he wants to in life. I mean, we just covered a story on- Save it! 
My brother Gabriel committed suicide three months ago. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Please, I have a family. That's nice. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't give a shit. For you, little brother, contract fulfilled. I'm focused I've been watching for the omens I've been listening to everything you said It's been running through my head Locked and loaded I got the feeling that you know it Yeah, I've only just begun I won't stop until it's done Till you're broken For this moment The final battle of the chosen See, I'm never gonna quit Got my legacy set